And you know, I guess that's what I wanted to get to in this video was the idea of the development of consciousness. And I guess I've been talking about that. Um, as a matter of fact, we were on the first floor, um, which is just directly being aware of your ego. And then the second floor would be self-consciousness, just to finish the house metaphor, even though um, I may have lost it for a minute there. Um, the development of consciousness. So we're not all at the same level. There's a developmental sequence which plays itself out. And it's, it's pretty regular. I mean, we can distinguish, um, you know, in the case of like Piaget, um, uh, pre-operational, operational, and uh, post-operational or formal operational um, levels of perception. You know, children develop a sense of object permanency, um, the ability to take the perspectives of others um, in an intellectual way, rather, not just an emotional way. Um, we have Kohlberg has a theory of moral development where initially we can only be um, egoically um, moral in a, in a sense we, we can only be self-interested because we don't know anything else and slowly we grow a little bit older and become aware that there are others and that you know we have to pay attention to them and eventually we possibly reach this post-formal kind of morality where there's no objective law that we need to follow there are only a variety of situations which all need, need to be approached um, with an open mind because reality is very complex and language um, isn't designed to map reality if there's no design anywhere in nature and that's basically what evolution is trying to show um, there's no design there's no pre-established law there is natural selection the ongoing selecting not only not only of um, different kinds of animals but of you know what's a human being if a human being is more than an animal nature is the ongoing selection of mind which is language that's why humans have minds because they speak this language um, so why do we assume that language has a pre-established design that there's this thing called logic um, that uh, can directly map the world represented exactly just kind of in words literally instead of just what's there and that everybody can understand it for meaning the same thing you know everybody knows objectively what every word means in that kind of a situation um, what do you become I mean you're you're a computer crunching a code and lots of lots of cognitive scientists can uh, or have attempted to describe the mind that way but the whole point is language is not describing an objective world out there language is creating a world and a world don't think of that as a literal place because think about what I'm saying language is inherently metaphorical language creates a world so keep in mind the first sentence and then when I say this word world I'm not talking about what what we think or um, perceive as the objective world out there, this physical space with time and all that. The world is, is there's something out there, but what are you trying to call it um, and mean anything objective or, or coherent or, you can't call it anything without missing it because what you, your act of calling is an expression of it so it can't be language is natural we have to naturalize language meaning not that we have to reduce it to the empirical world which is what naturalism um, the philosophical term generally means is that we just look at the, the material objective world out there and explain everything explain existence explain nature but to naturalize language then we're, we're realizing that there's no such thing as an, a language which could explain something non-linear not only non-linear but um, always 
eluding something that always eludes your grasp. You can't even model it um, with a nonlinear computer system. It's that nonlinear. It's it's so recursive, uh, and and you interfere with it by trying to model it. You interfere with what's occurring because you're not separate from it. Um, I'm probably over ten minutes, so either I could keep talking and make two videos, or I could stop now and take a chance. Well, I could always just start talking again. All right.